Hey guys, Jedi270 here at AirsoftRx.com and TX911Gear.com and what you're looking at is the GMP Sun Power Systems um, Gas Blowback Challenge Kit Manual Okay, and a lot of guys are telling me that Evic has removed that um, They couldn't find it and I uh, had a young man send me a uh, either a personal message, I can't remember which, or uh, whatever. But anyway, I've been sending him pictures of this thing through email. So, what I'm going to do is we're going to turn each page, and I'm going to let it sit for a few minutes, and in the video, you guys can run it back, pause it, and look at the manual that way. Okay, it's the best way I know to do it. So let's come off of this tripod. Alright, front page means nothing pop-up set okay that's plenty of time to get it paused that's plenty of time to get it paused okay figure number one This shows your trigger, your trigger spring, and your sear. Okay. Now, here's something to remember. Right here in the front of this piece, there's a screw that's going to go in there. And you'll find it. They just don't show it here in the instructions. Got a little outdoors bug there crawling on it. Okay, we're going to change the page. This shows your two bushings going in on your hammer. Your hammer spring slides down inside and pins from the side. Okay. Here's number four. We're just going to scan down the page. This is your hammer lock, your hammer lock spring or also known as your disconnector and it is a pain in the ass so what I suggest is that you get a dental pick to pull that over top of the selector switch which it's going to show you here in a second if it doesn't okay this shows you position of your selector switch okay Alright, this gives you your numbers. Now, here's this little spring that goes inside your um, inside your firing block on that side, just on the other side of your hammer. That all bolts together. Then you have the other side of your firing block there. That goes in, spring. That goes on the top. That drops down into your body and is attached. This is showing you your springs with your mag catch okay that's what's holding in your firing block step eight you have to be very careful here gentlemen if you have to force something or hammer it right here you will break that body keep that in mind okay that should be plenty of time for you to pause it I know this doesn't make for really good uh, video, but it's going to help some people out that I'm going to do it. This shows the steps that you put on with your detent. Now this detent right here, that's going to go back and help with your takedown pin and retain it. There's a spring there. Don't lose it. Okay, it's showing you how to put the buffer in the buffer spring, the buffer spring in the stock pipe or buffer tube there you go blah 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 now this is a pain in the ass alright it shows you your springs your forward assist and how everything goes in I wish this was a lot easier and I could explain it step for step okay 
and boom. This is building the nozzle, but what you need to understand is mine came with the nozzle already built. So, I had a personal message from a young man about an iron airsoft nozzle and he needed some help. Right there is your side. That's what you need to start looking at. Okay. Okay, this goes into the nozzle. Now there's a spring, a long spring, right here. Okay, it's going to hook inside here with this pin. This o ring slips over that. Then you put the spring in and then you slide the pin through. This o ring goes over the threads. Now, what you need to do is you need to take a piece of thread. Okay, don't tie it onto the end of that spring, but pass it through and double it. Make a loop. Pull it through the body, out to the outside, and pin it to the back of the nozzle right here. Okay, that's the only way you're going to do it. These right here are your valve blockers, similar to the items that King Arms puts out two of them. It's kind of like an impasse. It's a negative pressure system. All right, on your challenge kit, this piece right here is going to break eventually. You need to replace it, okay? Um, I have them on Airsoft RX made of steel. They are the tactical latch, meaning they're raised up with a huge square in them, so you can actuate them with one hand. You need to go over on the left-hand navigation because he's changed it up a little bit. Click on gas guns, follow those links to element, and you will see that piece. And it's pretty cheap too, but you guys need that because it will break. Okay. Okay, guys. Next page. Just pause it on the pictures that you like. Keep your iPad or your phone or your laptop or your computer close. And Finally, woohoo, you did it, dude. Rock on. All right, now, hopefully that helps you guys out. That's the GMP Challenge Kit Manual. Now, I want to show you something real quick. It's not done, okay? BDW. I need to change the grip out. Done it. Oh, and it's swimming off. Oh, it's so sexy. Oh, yeah. There it goes. Mm. Can I see it again, Jedi? Yeah, let's look at it from this side. Oh, there it is. Yeah, baby. Huh? Okay, keep in mind this is going to be changed too. I'm going to the MOE uh, FDE color. Yay! Everybody clap! Alright, why did I do that? Because WE's paint on the PDW thoroughly sucks and the top one already had scratches. So I figured I had to paint it anyway, so I might as well do it what I wanted to do it with. So, there you go, guys. Challenge kit manual. Thanks for watching.